Okay, hello guys. Hello teacher. Hello guys, sorry. Re remember, sorry for, for, for the inconvenience, right? Because uh, I have a class before this one. Uh, if I forget to tell you this, remember that tomorrow we, we won't have classes. We are going to have classes until Friday. Yeah. Tomorrow is a day off. Don't worry. Tomorrow is a day off. We move the class for tomorrow to Friday. Just we have a, a few of you, I think. Uh, just we are 14. 14. What about the other ones? Just a, just a few of you. Send me a message. Tell me that we're having some problem. I think the oh we have a okay guys. We're going to start with the one that, that we have today. And now we're going to share you the screen. Intermediate English. Okay. It is right here. Here today we're going to start with this one. Okay, guys, let's going to move this a little bit. Okay. Oh, we move this better. Okay. Hello, guys. We are back and. Today topic, what is for a snapshot? Here we have some, this is a timing line that we, the one that we have here. And uh, how can we know, or how can we infer better word that the, this one is a time lining or a lining time, whatever you want to call it. Maybe you can see the dates, right? You have 1957, 1962, 1972, 1984, 1986, 1989. And we see in 1957 was created artificial satellite. satellite. Uh, I don't know if some of you know how this one is called. This one was launched by the Russians. I don't know if some Sputnik. of you, how? The Sputnik. A Sputnik, yeah, the Sputnik was launched in 1957, the Sputnik. The Sputnik is like uh, the first object in, that was launched in, in, into the space. It's why, like uh, the prototype of how you can send something to the space, right? This was the first experiment that the Russians made uh, send a, sending a sat satellite. And what about in 1962, industrial robots? Where are those robot uses? What is in which industry the, the, the robots are focused on? What can we create with, with industrial robots? Can we create cars? What else? Cars? Full, full in the in the food factories. Oh yeah, the, the industrial robots also help us in the food factories and doing like uh, assembling, the, the one that I mentioned, assembling cars, painting, welding, Robots are very good at welding, but in some cases, they can replace the human being hand. The human being hand can go where a robot can no go, right? There are some spaces, some movement, that when you are welding by hand, the robot cannot do it. Just the human being can do that, right? Like uh, short movements uh, with, with the hand when you are welding. And what about video games? Oh, video games, I think was one of the best things that, that, that happened in the world, right? Video games. The first console that was created, I don't know if some of you know about this. How how was called the first, the first video game or the console? 
Or what was the company that created it? Maybe Nintendo? No. Mm -hmm. The first company of creating console was Atari. Atari was the first one. Was the first one. Atari was the first one. And Atari was the first one that also create Pac-Man. Yeah, they get together with, with, with some other programs, programmers, sorry. And in that way they create Pac-Man. They create that. Oh, the first games of Atari was like like playing tennis, but in a bill like uh, in, in a screen. You have a line in a ball was moving point and moving from one place to one to other place, right? Uh, I don't know how, how it is called in Spanish that, that name. I, I can't remember how it is called, but was was on the most popular game. And then go then appears the one that uh, that moves like a some blocks and you start to do ensembling and when once you make tetrix. a line, tetrix yeah tetrix tetrix yeah that was uh, another one was very famous tetrix and then and after those games appear nintendo and after nintendo appears uh, sega after sega appears playstation after playstation appear xbox and i think those are the, the, the most popular in the industry. Okay, what about the compact disc oh, or CD-ROM? Did you remember that you used to do one kind of thing when the when the CD-ROM were like a scratch? You put some soap in, <laughs> over the, the disc and you start cleaning it with a wipe. And you test it if they can listen in well again. I don't know if some of you start to, to fix one city room that, that was very scratch. I don't know how many of you did that. <laughs> you try to, to fix them with Colgate and put it ah. in, the, in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with, with, put, with, put with paste. Col yeah, with Colgate paste. <laughs> yeah. You also put it Colgate paste, I remember that technique. <laughs> And then you 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 try it again in the in the CD player or, or in your radio, and you cross your finger and say, "Oh, I need this to be fixed." And listen well. Poof! If you put play and it that really help or really works, the the CD was start playing very well again. Okay, what about the DNA fingerprinting? Fingerprinting. Do you know the fingerprintings? are the little knife that you have on your fingers, right? Every every single fingerprint, it is different. In this case of Astrid, in the case of Anna, in the case of Sylvia, all of you, you don't have the same fingerprint. All of you have different fingerprint. Nobody has the same fingerprint. Imagine how 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 many fingerprints do we have around the world? How many now nowadays do you I don't know if you have an idea how many people are over the air nowadays? Seven million, seven billions. How many how many people do we have nowadays on earth? I don't know if some of you have the real fact. Nobody. I think I, I, I lost it. I, I I heard about that, but I'm not sure about 100%. Okay, and the last one. We have in 1989, World Wide Web. This is, was one of the most amazing things that happened to the world. World Wide Web. Why was called World Wide Web? Because it spread around the world like a spider net. That's why they put the name World Wide Net because it is spread all over the world in the diagram that they used to create in order to see where those light goes and come from, they see like a, like a spider web. La telaraña, ya la han visto la telaraña, como lleva ese montón de líneas, ¿verdad? That's why they call it a World Wide Web because it was similar to the spider web. It has a connection right here. It has another connection right here. And this one moves to, to here. That's why they prefer to call it or, or they decide to call worldwide. Well, 
because it's spread all over the world. Okay, let's go to move to our next slide, guys. I'm going to see. Oh, I forget my laser. Okay, guys, we have a conversation between Daniel and Andrea. Yes, we are too, right? Daniel and Andrea, Daniel and Andrea. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to read it for you. Please pay attention to and listen carefully. Hey, nice computer. What this for? That's a modem. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line. Oh, the, I remember that, the phone line. The, the, the weird song that the machine used to used to make when you, it was start running with the internet. So I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that, yes. And I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs. Do you know what is UFOs? Unidentifying flying objects or the famous OVNI, oh, Objeto yes. Volador No Identificado. UFO eh, are the, the words in English, Unidentifying Flying Object, UFO. In Spanish, is OVNI, okay? Just about anything, a sport, car, oh. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Mm, I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Why don't you get on internet? It's not really expensive. Nowadays, it's not expensive. Long time ago, having internet at home was very expensive, if the majority of you remember. Having internet like in the 2000 result like a expensive for your, your fathers. Yeah, maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Okay, guys, what are we gonna do? I need to volunteer the one to want to help me with this dialogue. Who are going to best vote the first volunteer for today's class? I want to try, teacher. Who, Diana, and who else? Who else want to try? Crisia. Okay, Diana and Crisia are going to be the first. Diana, you're going to be Daniel, and Chrisia, you're going to be Andrea. Let's go to start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Hey, nice computer. What this for? Uh, that's a modem. It used to connect the computer to the phone online. So I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that? Oh. Yes, and I use the word what well for finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs. UFOs, yes, yeah. about yes, yeah, about anything. Sports, cars. Mm -hmm. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Mm, I use use my computer to write letters letters and reports. Why why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you too. Who else want to help me in today's class? Okay, then going to see Claudia Margarita. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Hi. I'm Hi. Good. Ah, you're good. You're great. Okay, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Claudia. Today you are going to be the character of Henry. And let's going to see who else. Miguel Antonio. Hello, how are you, Miguel? Hello, teacher. How are you, Miguel? It's a pleasure to see you, Miguel. You are going to be in this. Oh, this is going to be Andrea. You're going to be Andrea in this case. Okay. We are going uh, to okay. start. We are going to start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's go. Hey, nice computer. What is this for? That and mother. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line. So I can send fax and access the internet. So you can go online and all that? Yes. 
I uh, I I uh, use the world wide web web for mm -hmm. web mm -hmm. sorry web for finding information finding finding information of astronomy movie office office just, uh -huh. just about any time any time anything mm -hmm. anything sports cars mm -hmm. oh i can accenture information with people to uh belong 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 thank you to a chat group on astronomy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i use use my computer to write letters and report why don't you get on the internet it's not really expensive maybe i will it sounds like fun mm -hmm. okay guys thank you we are going to have our next participants see we have that yeah i need two more sylvia esther okay sylvia and who else who else want to participate in today class? Okay, I'm going to choose another one. Lourdes Nunez. Hello, Lourdes. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lourdes. Silvia is going to be Daniel, and you are going to be Andrea, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's, we are going to start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Hey, nice computer. What's this for? That's a modem. It's used to con to connect the computer to the phone line, so I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that. Yes, and I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs, just about anything. Sports, cars. Uh -huh. And I can ex exchange information uh -huh. with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Oh, yeah. Mm. I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Why don't you get on the internet? It's, it's, not, it's not really expensive. Uh -huh. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Maybe I will. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your help. Okay, now we are going to move to our next slide and see what we have over there. Okay, guys, please. Okay, we are going to see what we have here. Infinitives and gerunds. Infinitives and gerunds. What we have here? Infinitives and gerunds can describe and use or a purpose. Describe or being used or a purpose. Here we have the infinity and here we have the gerunds. Guys, what can you see? What are the difference that you see between in an infinitive and a gerund? What are the difference? The different that you can see here and the different that you can see over here. The gerund, uh, gerund, como is it? Gerund, yeah, yeah, gerund. Add ing. Oh, okay. In infinitive, uh, the same, the verb. Okay, if you heard Ma Maria Magdalena, she was telling us the two different that she was observing. In, in those exercises. In the first one, she mentioned, teacher, in the first, uh, refer to the infinitive, we have the preposition to plus the verb in the simple form. This is what we call infinitive, preposition to, with, with a simple way of the of the verb, to connect. It is simple, simple like that, to connect, to write, to find, to read, to cook. To do. That's why they're called infinity. 
they are, they are always used in a simple form. What about the gerunds? In this case, the gerunds we use the preposition for, and after that one, the verb that goes, it is in ing form. That's why the gerund are better known for adding ing to the verbs. All the verbs that you add ing and you have before that verb, the preposition for, those ones are called the famous gerunds. And the two of them are used, you can use this to describe or you can use this for a specific purpose. What do you mean a specific for purpose? You can use this only for one specific things or refer to one specific action. The one, whatever you are talking or the one you are referring to. In this case, we have a modem is used to connect computers to phones. Computers are often used to write letters. If you see guys, even if we are talking about in singular, or in the case we are talking in the plural, you see, we have here a verb in singular, a verb in plural, but the infinitive doesn't change. Here in the case, the infinity doesn't change. The infinity are going to be always the same. Even if you are uh, referring to a singular thing, or you are referring to a plural, you see? It's used to connect. Are often used to write. I can use the World Wide Web to find information. What about the gerunds? It's used for connecting computers to phone. They often use for writing letters. I can use it for finding information, for finding information. Those are the uses of them. If you see here, even the doesn't change the structure. If we are talking in the case of a plural, even if you are talking in, in the first person, in the case of I, the famous yo, famoso yo, that doesn't matter. Singular, plural, in both cases, the structure that, that go after this, the subject, it keeps the same. In the case you are referring to infinity, or in the case you are referring to a year. All of them are going to be the same, singular and plural. I don't know if we have any question about this. Any question, guys? Nobody has a question. Okay, let's going to move to our next slide. Let's going to move to our next slide. Let's see what we have here. I think we have some exercise. Oh yeah, we have exercise. Okay, we're going to move this a little bit right here that we can see. Okay, guys. Okay, what do you know about this technology? Complete the phrase, complete the phrase in column A with information from column B, then compare with a partner more than more than one answer is possible. What is mean that more than one answer is possible? That one sentence you can select maybe two possible answers in the column B. If you see, we have a lot of options. Right? Here we only have six, and here we have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have more options. That's why it said more than one answer is possible. Okay, here we have the here we have some example. Satellites are used for transmitting telephone calls. Satellites are used to transmit telephone calls. To transmit and for transmitting. Used for transmitting, are used to transmit. If you see, we have the same sentence. Just in the first one, we are using a zero. In the second one, we have an infinity. And the two of them at the end, they give the same meaning, the, the same message. And that is not going to differ according to the idea what we want to express to, to the other person, right? Uh, okay, we have the column A, the first exercise. Satellites are used to, or satellites are used, what can we, what can we use here? 
Here, you, here we can use I use to or I use for. You can tell me the one that you think is proper. Both, both, the both of them are, are, are correct. Which one do you think? Satellite are used. Who wants to help me with this one? To transmit telephone calls. To transmit telephone calls. Thank you, Silvia. Thank you. What about, let's go to see here. Astrid, hello, Astrid. How are you, Astrid? You're... Hi, teacher. Hi, Astrid. Uh, you were paying attention, right, Astrid? Yes. Okay, Astrid. Astrid, uh, do you want to help me with the number two, the one that we have here? Robots are sometimes used to perform dangerous tasks. For perform, performing dangerous tasks. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your help. Okay, let's see. Hello, Olga said. How are you? Hello. Hello, Olga. How are you, Olga? I am fine, thank you. Okay, you? Olga. I'm great, Elsa, because we are here to take with all of you. <laughs> okay, let's go to move to the number three, Elsa. Can you help me with this one? Can you use a fact machine? You can use the complement, the one that we were mentioning, right? No, uh, Elsa, you can use the, the structure that I was mentioning to you. You can use for and you can use to. You can use uh, infinitive or a yellow. Infinity. You can use an infinitive or a yellow for. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The one that you want to have, the one that you want to use, sorry. Mm -hmm. Can you use a fact machine to? Yeah. To what? To make a photocopy. You can use a fact machine for making a photocopy. Remember, we can work with infinitive or a zero form. Don't worry if you couldn't work with, with this exercise. Maybe you you might get, uh, or you might know a little bit more about the, the follow up with you, the participation of your classmate. Uh, okay, now you're going to see. Saul Enrique Garcia, hello, Saul. Hello, Saul. Hey. Uh, are you listening to me, right? Okay. Saul, can you help me with the number four? Mm -hmm. Remember, we can use an infinitive or you can use a zero. Liliana, okay. Mm -hmm. So all you can say, people use internet. To what? To identify criminal. People use the internet for identifying criminal. In this case, we are using Jeros. I don't know if you got the idea, Saul, or everything is has been clear for you. Saul? No le escucho, Saul. Now, teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, of course. Okay. Uh, people use the internet uh, for... Uh, Reading the listed uh, weather the report. No, for reading the latest uh, latest weather report. Okay, that might be that might be well. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's going to see Catherine Marielo. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Catherine. 
Uh, do you mind to, if you help me with the number five, DNA fingerprint is used? Um, identify criminals. To identify criminal. Remember in this identify case you are. Identify criminals. Remember, if, if in this case you are using infinitive, you are going to say to identify criminal. In the case if you use just gerund, you are going to say is used for identifying criminal. One thing is okay. to ident one thing is the, the infinitive to, and the another one is the zero. Okay, I don't know if you, you, you got the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Let's see the number, let's see the number six. Who wants to help me with the number six? With the number six. Hi. Diana, Patricia, hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Let me see. CD room is sometimes yeah. used. CD room. A CD like a DVD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for example, to study the word square. I think. Because yeah. I remember in that in, in some books. Uh, they include a CD for you oh. learn some classes mm, with animals yeah. like National Geographic, I think. I oh yeah, like, the, like, like, like this one, to store encyclopedia. Yes, to store an encyclopedia. I think that oh. is the, a possible answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember, remember, like we said here, more than one answer is... It's possible. possible. More than one answer is possible. Don't worry about that. More than one answer is possible. Okay. I don't know if, if, if someone else wants to participate or collaborate with those sentences. Teacher, I have a question. Tell uh, me, Silvia. Still not understand uh, right now, but the question is, we use to method for the same sentence and is correct to do sentence and well, why why what is different can you explain uh, me okay now, now i got i i think now i i got you you uh, sylvia the thing that you want to know it is what is the difference between the yero and the infinitive, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. What are the difference? As I was mentioning to you, the difference is this one. In one, you the only thing that is changing it is the use of a gerund. The action is changing, right? We that's why they are calling uh, that's why that is calling IG4 or, or gerund for transmitting. In this case, satellites are used for transmitting telephone. And even the grammar structure chain, we have for transmitting. What about in the other one, in the in the infinity? The infinity, we only have the basis for of the verb to transmit. The two sentences at the end, they transmit the same idea. They are written in a different form but the two of them at the end, they transmit the same meaning or the same idea. The only thing that change is the grammar form. That's the only thing that, that, that change here. The only thing that change is the grammar form because as we were observing in, uh, in the last slide, the last slide, infinitive and general can describe or use as a purpose. What is a purpose? Whatever thing that you wanted. What is to describe when you want when you want to describe something? When you want to talk about something. The two of them, the two of them are the same. That are structured in different ways. That is the only different thing. But in this case, like the most popular it is the Infinitive. It, it is less used, I think, in these cases, the zero are less uses than the infinitive. Most of the people use uh, infinitive. 
instead of the yellow. Okay. I see. Yeah, yeah them, the two of them transmit the same idea. The same idea. The only thing is the change is the grammar. La idea es la misma, el mensaje es lo mismo, lo que cambia aquí es escritura. That will be, I think, that will be, that will be the whole that, that my shape, right? Okay, and maybe for the moment, uh, for explain, oh, that, that's it. How, how come, Silvia? Uh, how come? Do you think in the moment that you are referring to the action? Yes, for the, eh, sorry, eh, para determinar cuál usar. Oh, no, that's not necessary. Like, like, in this case, okay, I will tell you this word better. If you are talking, if you were a reporter, if you were a reporter, you were in, in a live transmission, the majority of the reporter, uh, uh, the majority of them use the gerunds. Like we are talking in, in life, when they are with the microphone, I'm um, 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 transmitting from the city, or blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I think the majority of the case, if we are in, in transmitting in life, the majority of them use uh, uh, the the yellow because they are like uh, talking or making emphasis that the action is taking place, and in this case, if the action they just happen, but the reporters and most of them use this structure, use the the yellow, because they are narrating what is happening, they are talking about what is happening. Okay. I think I think in in those cases might apply the the, the different of the two of them. Just in those cases, they, when you are uh, talking in front of the people, uh, also you can use a mix between this one and this one. And at the end, it's, it's not too much thing. The idea is going to be understandable at the end, okay? Yes, got it, and thank you for explaining. Thank you, thank, thank, thank you, okay. Thank you for asking me. Okay, pronunciation, syllable, syllable stress. Remember, guys, we were talking about syllable stress. What is the syllable stress? Is the force that you use in the words at the moment to pronounce or at the moment to tell you. We have, eh, where is the stress in this board? In compound nouns. Mer the stress syllable, then listen and check. Okay, guys, compound nouns. What do you, what do you know what you have heard for compound nouns? Compound nouns. Compound nouns. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I have two questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for me, it's not very clear what is a syllable stress. Oh, syllable stress is the force that you put to the word at the moment to pronounce it. Like when you say in it, the thing that happened in Spanish is when you try to give an idea, que, instead of que. That's the stress, the difference of the pronunciation. The stress or the force that you put to the word, the, that stress is the one that can give another different meaning. If, if you see, in Spanish, that happens the majority of the time. When you say in Spanish, when, when you say in Spanish, que querés? What you transmit is that you are mad, you are angry. And different is when you said, que querés? That means that you are calm. calm. Okay. Que querés? You are, you are very calm, you're very wise. When you, well, when you say like in, in a mad way or when you are angry, uh, the people are just going to be like a stone bornness, like a, what happened? <laughs> She's okay. mad. Uh, yeah. That's why the stress is very important because if you put more stress to the world, you are transmitting to that person that you are mad, you're feeling bad, you are not well, and all those kind of things. And when you put a little bit down the stress on the syllable, you are transmitting a whole completely meaning. 
in Spanish we, you see all the time all the time you see in Spanish en español nos pasa todo el tiempo todo, todo el tiempo todo el tiempo entonces, in English it might be the case okay. it is it, uh -huh. and another question is what is a compound noun? That was what I'm going to explain to you. Don't worry okay. about that. Don't, <laughs> okay, know that. Don't worry about that. That's why we are explaining everything. That's why they are calling compound noun. Compound noun means two words that make together and form one whole completely meaning. That's what really means compound noun. Okay, let we see here. Finger is one word. What is finger? It is your finger. What is printing? Printing, it might be like a, when you are printing something or when you are uh, stamping something over, over a paper. But if you put together, you said finger print. Those two words, when you put together, may a whole, com a whole different meaning or a new word. Fingerprint. Fingerprint in Spanish might be huellas dactilares digitales. o digitales, como queramos llamarlo. Digitales, uh, those are fingerprints because if you put separated finger, it is just a finger. And printing, it is another different thing, right? When you are printing in the with your computer, a lot of pages. Uh, but in this case, you put together finger, pin. So in this case, uh, fax machine. Even if we have the the, if we have here the 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 the, the, the space, makes one word fax machine because fax might be one one thing in machine. What what do you might understand if I only tell you that machine? You only said that machine. Oh, that machine. Okay, a machine. But if I told you fax machine, you're going to say, oh, machine okay. fax. But that's that's completely different. In this case, what that is what we call compound. Hey, we have a, a, a we have here another one. This, this was this is very famous. Photo, photo, the one that you took with with, with your camera. There is a photo. And we have copy. Copy means, like the word said, when you copy one thing, once, two, twice, three. But in this case, you put the two different words to make one new word. Photo. Uh -huh. uh, I have a, a good example for the compound nouns. Oh, tell I me. I want to try <laughs> to say you. Okay. Butter is mantequilla. But fly is volar. If you put together, his butterfly is mariposa, no mantequilla voladora. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I was trying to remember that. Yes. Uh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that is something very unusual. Like you said, butter, mantequilla, fly is, is, is another thing. If you put it together, butterfly, butterfly. That is, if you see that, do, do, do. <laughs> I imagine that I imagine that you're splitting butters over there. Pss, 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 pss. <laughs> okay, those are the famous compound nouns. Those are the famous compound nouns that we are referring to. In this case, we have television programs, we have travel reservation, we have fingerprinting, fax machine, telephone calls, weather report, photocopy, and internet. I don't know if you have heard some other word guy like the one that Diana was mentioning. I don't know if you have another one. Sylvia, have you heard another compound now? Mm, I am thinking. You're thinking, but maybe you not remember. No. Another animals. Other animals. <laughs> uh, no, 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 another animals or what? Another box like firefly, dragonfly. Oh, dragonfly, dragonfly, yeah, dragonfly, yeah, the dragon and fly. That 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 has a completely. The dragonfly, it's it's very weird because dragonfly. Some people call to an insect, 
in dragonfly is also called a uh, fruit. There is a fruit that is called dragonfly. If you see, you have the same word, but you have different meaning for the same word. Even that word is it is a compound. No. The dragon the fruit, but the fruit is dragon fruit. The, some people call it dra dra dragonfly fruit. I don't know why they call it on, 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 on that on that way. I, I uh, even from that fruit, it just uh, a few what I know from, from the dragon fruits. But I don't know why why I have heard some people telling dragonfly fruit. I don't know. I, I don't understand why. Uh, I, I think those uh, those people that call it that way. Are they one that, that maybe they grow up those those fruits, right? Uh, I'm not sure about it, but I have I have heard some people call it in that way. I don't know why, but I'm not sure. I know it's the pita haya, really. I think oh, the, the pita haya in Spanish that, that was called pita haya. Pita haya, thank you, thank you, thank you, pita haya, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, we were. <laughs> Oh, Teacher, yeah. cell phone. How? Cell phone. Oh, cell phone, cell phone, cell and phone. We have yes. the word cell from a little tiny object that is, it is a cell. And we have the word phone, cell phone. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that might be another compound now. Now we are going to move to our next slide because we are running out of time. Okay, I don't know if everything is clear here, guys, with the compound nouns. Yes, it's clear. Okay, everything is clear with the compound nouns. Let's move to the, the other slide. Oh, we have a lot of here to do. Okay, what are the, the world of computer? What are three uses for computer at home? A school, in a factory, in a restaurant. Complete the chart and then add two more uses for each place. If we have different places in, in where we, we can use computer, uh, we have a home, we have a school, we have in a factory, and we have it in a restaurant. From the one that we have here, guys, which one do you think that uh, might be applied just only for home? Which one might apply just only for home? Uh, for make budget, a budget. Where you, oh, make a budget. Mm, yeah, it might, it might, it might be make a budget. Mm -hmm. Pay household bills. Where, 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 where? Which hey, one? Tier, tier. T t t t t. Which, which one, Chris? I, I can hey, hear you. Household bills. Oh, pay household bills. Pay household bills. Uh, yeah. Household. Household bills. Household, household bills. Son los recibos de esto que le llegan a su casa. The household bill. Uh, in, uh, or in United States, in this case, are the, are the receipts that, that, that you... Uh, that you get at home when uh, this nice. one tells you how, how going to pay but the facilities the facilities is everything that you have that you have at home facilities yeah. imply electricity water internet uh, what else do you pay at home uh, oh the taxes the taxes <laughs> i was forgetting that the taxes you must pay taxes for your home yeah, you have to pay taxes. Those are called facilities. Everything that you have at home. But the households, household bills are the receipt that arrive uh, every end of the month at home. Like EO, Claro, uh, ANDA, uh, La Alcaldía, uh, the child support. <laughs> All of them are the household beers. <laughs> All of them they might call household beer. Which uh, what else can we mention at home? My yes. What else? Keep attention. As Astrid, you you were you were talking, right? Make budgets. Make budget. Okay. Let's move to this column. What about the uses at, at school? Okay. 
Keep the attention. Attendance. The attendance. Where is the attendance? Attendance. Keep the attention. Keep the oh, attendance. keep the attendance. Yeah, Attend keep. Attendance. Yeah, keep the attention. Yeah, might be one. Uh, where might be another one? Hey, what? Yeah. Create word schedule. Create word schedule. You also you you uh, also at a school, we have a schedule. The every guy must follow. What about the case of the factory? Can you mention in? Uh, some of them in the factory run the machine run the machine run the machines okay make report cards make report cards uh -huh. okay make report cards okay mm -hmm. make the workers make the workers worker <laughs> oh worker create no oh pay the workers okay in the factory they the, the that's the thing you have that you can do okay. because now nowadays you have you have your account. Oh, sure. uh, every fifteen every fifteen day or at uh, the end of the month, you receive a payment for your job. Okay. The the, pri the private company pay every fifteen day, and the public institution pay at at the end of the month. They uh, they only pay at the end of the month. I only receive payment at the end of the month. At the end of the month, all of my payments are at the end of the month, and also yeah, my household bill. What about in the restaurant? Create the menu. Create the menu. Create the menu. Create the menu. Orders. Process credit cards. Yeah, process ready. Credit cards. Credit card. Oh, we have another one. Okay, process credit card. Okay, we need to move to the last one, guys. This is going to be a little bit quick because we just only have five minutes. Okay, here we have three images. We have different image. Here we have uh, two officer. I think he might be like a, a, a therapist. Ah, no, he said a psychotherapist. I was not completely lost. And she's a professor. Here we have what we have to do with all three, this picture. How do you think these people use computer in their work? Make two guesses. What it mean to guess it? Dos, supposi? Sure. Sandy Watson? Mm -hmm. It's a police officer. She analyzed crime pattern. How, how she uses the computer at her work? Mm -hmm. For investing. Oh, sorry. In... She used her computer for investigating or for researching for for researching criminals. Yeah, might be the case. Or oh, the another one might be to look for uh, dangerous people. They they have access to the computer in the U.S. Yes, and to search to information. Mm -hmm. Search to search information of a specific person. Exactly. That might and for see the social media. The social yeah. media. No, but in this case, we are talking about the, uh, an <laughs> officer. I don't think the officer is the only question to use the computer just for looking at the. Is it wrong? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the actual police, they spend time in, in their phone with the social media, right? Yeah, the police is crying. <laughs> you you were talking about the actual police officer in, in the country, right? <laughs> yeah, those, those. those the, those ones are just spend a lot of time at their phone. Yeah, but here, here in the in El Salvador, we don't have the like a, the uh, database that in which we can search for certain people. In the U.S., officers have access to to those data because they have a computer system in their vehicles. Once you give them your ID, they start looking for if you are wanted by the police. Here You're in right. El Salvador. 
here in El Salvador, they only ask for your doing. Ah, you live over there? No, 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 you are a criminal, come here. Uh, they only say, ah, you look like someone similar that we are looking for. Sorry, guys, we we are going to handcuff. Uh, that that how they think work here in Zapado, but in other countries, they have better technology, right? In which in the in the one that help the police officers to to keep or grab uh, some dangerous people. Here in El Salvador, works completely different. Even for the ticket that the uh, transit officer gives you, they just write it by hand. In the US, they do it in the computer and they give you your ticket. <laughs> Everything is completely uh, different from here. Okay, what about the psychotherapy? How, how do you think he used the computer, the psychotherapy? To make a psychothera psychotherapeutic test. Ah, to make a psychotherapist test to look for his or her, her patient file. Yeah, all the files nowadays are in, in the computer for a specific base of data. And uh, what else to, oh, to give an appointment to give an appointment, the therapy use uh, his computer to give an appointment. But our citas, right? Everything is, is, is digital nowadays. Teacher, what about? For, for create a, a report. Of ah, to create a report. Yes. To create a report or for reporting or for creating, for creating a report. Yeah, those might be the cases. What about the teacher? Or the professor in this case? <laughs> For make presentations. To make presentation, uh-huh, what else? To make exams. To make exam, okay, what else? For search, search uh, information. To search information, okay. Guys, I'm going to ask you this. What is the difference between a professor and a teacher? What is the difference between a, a professor and a teacher? Hmm? Maybe profession, professor is for university? Ah, yeah, you got the idea, right? Professor only, it is used for people who work at the university level and professor and per, those are for professor and the teacher it is used for the one that are in a lower level in in public school or or, or in a school because professor in the u.s they need to have a, a master degree in a phd that that means a doctorado that's why their studies are higher than 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 the than a teacher than a common teacher. They study more. They study like a ten or twelve years more than a teacher for being a a, a professor at the university. They 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 know a lot. That's why they they are all called professor, and the other one that works at school, they just are called teacher. You're never going to call uh, to a person who works in a school professor. No, you're just going to call teacher the whole time, teacher. That's how you are called to him or her. Okay, guys, eh, we are run of time. The, we finish here with the presentation. Uh, guys, just for remember to you, tomorrow we won't have classes we will have classes until friday remember don't don't go to get connected tomorrow right because you are going to to be waiting for a long time and okay guys this is everything for today thank you for your participation thank sí, you for tengo una pregunta es yeah. de la plataforma no sé si se puede responder aquí oh es... give, just give me a minute to stop the recording okay